welcome to 22nd of April's Gauri Blessing. Now there's something known as astral travel and people have been talking about in the West especially. And they've been saying that you can actually travel beyond your body. Now most of the people don't understand this because they think I'm a body, I'm a brain, how can I travel? Who's the me who's going to travel beyond the body? How can the brain travel beyond the body? How can the body travel beyond the body? So then they go into the yogic science and they understand that we've got some aura around us and the aura can travel actually. But to be very factual about it, what we have learned in Brahma Kumari is that it is a part of the soul's energy which can travel beyond the body. That means the consciousness can move beyond the body because both of them are different. Consciousness is different and the body is different. Two different separate entities. One is the software and one is the hardware. So software can be taken away for some time and still the hardware can be run. So that's what we're going to learn over here. What are the conditions for that kind of travel? So God says, may you be an easy yogi and tour around all the three worlds. Now there's not just one world, whereas the science is searching for life in some other plane. But here in spirituality, we understand that there's one earth and on this one earth itself, there's life. And then beyond that earth, you have got another world, which is also known as the world of angels or the subconscious layer. And then beyond that is the world where we all came from. Many people call it Param Dham, some people call it Nirvan Dham, some people call it Supreme Abode, the soul world. And that's where we all came from. So how do we do that travel? God says, may you be an easy yogi and tour around all the three worlds in a second in the plane of your intellect. Now there's a plane in the intellect, not the flying plane. Means there's an area in our intellect which can actually travel in a second. It has the capacity to go beyond the five elements and be in a world which is beyond the five elements, the sixth elemental world. So here God says, Bab Dada gives you children this invitation. It's an invitation from the creator and his first child. Children, put on the switch of your thoughts and come to the subtle region and take the rays of the sun and the light of the moon. Now sun over here is not the physical sun, sun means God and light means Adam of the moon and moon over here is depicted by Brahma. Have a picnic and also play games. You can enjoy over there, have a picnic over there. It's a world which is beyond the physical again. In order to do this, you simply need double refined fuel for your intellect's plane. We need double refined fuel for your intellect explain now we're going to understand what are these double refined fuel so God says double refined means to have the intoxication of having faith in the incorporeal that means I am incorporeal and God is incorporeal without a, without a corpse without a body I am a soul a child of the father that is the complete first refined fuel a very pure form of thinking so I am a child of father and I am a soul. Secondly, have the intoxication of having all relationships in the corporeal form. That means in this physical world, in this physical form, if you are a female, you will have a husband or a brother or a sister or parents and for you to have complete relationship with God in all these terms, him being your brother also, him being your sister also, him being your father and mother also, him being your spouse also is the best way to have a purer mind and intellect towards somebody. That means all relationships are with him, then there's nothing to do with anybody around, right? We don't want anything from anyone. Then God says, I am a soul, a child of the father. Secondly, thus, secondly, have the intoxication of having all relationships in the corporeal form. This intoxication and happiness will make you into an easy yogi. You'll feel lighter and when you're feeling lighter in your mind and intellect only, then can you go into astral travel or yogic traveling. Who can also continue to tour around the three worlds in simple terms? It's like the rocket to take off. It has to have energy to leave the gravity. And now in our case, the gravity is our relationships with people. He's mine. She's mine. I want them to respect me. I want them to love me back. I want their attention. This is all gravity, heavy gravity. Now for the mind or the consciousness to or the soul to for some time be away from this physical heaviness 
then it has to have very lighter thoughts. That's when nobody is mine. They're just playing a role and I belong to God, the creator. He's my father, he's my brother, he's my sister, he's my everything. My friend also. And that's how we can detach ourselves from any feelings of sadness or any feelings of expectations from others for a moment and then go into astral travel. That's the only method. Now for that one has to do it not just mentally, it has to be done in a very feeling based way. I would say the base has to be very full of feelings towards the creator. So all relationships with him and he's an incorporeal being. These are the two things and I'm the child of the father, incorporeal father. Two things which are very crucial for us to have a flight up. Otherwise we'll be engaged into heavy talks, engaged into heavy thinking, engaged into battering around or quarreling around and that's going to make us heavier. So this is the method which you've done in Brahma Kumari. So you're most welcome to attend a session of 7 day course in any of the centers nearby you. Om Shanti with this.